Guys, I finally got some of these in the studio. I've been so excited to get my hands on these because I'm a kid of the 1980s. This is a T-65 X-Wing Starfighter, a battle quadcopter. What does that even mean? Well, let me back up a little bit. I grew up on the Star Wars story, right? The brand of Star Wars, George Lucas and everything like that. Always taking my toys and kind of flying them around by hand imagining that we could actually fly these machines and do some sort of battle like every kid has ever done in the history of playing with toys now a company named propel i guess has come out with these i had to pick up a couple of them up right because they are battle drones i don't know anybody else that actually owns one of these yet uh, but they say you can actually battle up to 12 of these uh, flying machines at once so i picked up two i'm going to go over the light side if you will and of course the dark side but that'll be in the next video today i want to focus on the x-wing starfighter because this has some very cool qualities one of the things i know that i've read about it and after the video reviews I've seen about it is it's actually pretty darn quick. It goes up to about over 50 kilometers an hour and over 30 miles an hour uh, depending on the weather and of course the, the factors of your battery charge and everything else like that. But I don't want to chit chat anymore. We're all here for an unboxing to see how this goes. So let's get in the X-Wing. Do I open it? No, nope, check it out. I'm going to actually stand it up. Looks like this is the right way to do it. It's in a bag. It's in some sort of display case. Propel sticker on the top. An official box and design. Star Wars T-65 X-Wing. Hand painted and numbered special edition collector's box with light up display case. Are you kidding me? Look at the top of the display case. The ship is actually totally part of the box. Holy cow. I'm going to get you up close. Check that out. Super cool. It looks like a great gift. I'm lucky I stumbled upon these while they're available. I'm sure they're going to get scooped up everywhere I look, uh, but that'll make it fun at least. Uh, inside the box, supposedly there's two lithium ion batteries, the battery charger, uh, the, the display box that's in there, spare blades, spare cannons. What's that mean? What's a spare cannon? <laughs> <laughs> it's locked. How do we get in? <laughs> this is actually a seal. I can't open the box without breaking this seal. Look at this. Nice. You actually get to take that off as kind of a souvenir. This is how you know if your box is legit or not. There we go. Can I take it up? I can. The ship set. There's sound. Oh my God. There's sound. Dude, and it lights up! Holy cow! There's the sound box! Oh, this is like the moment I've been waiting for. Amazing, guys! Oh my gosh, R2-D2 is in the back. What? Hand painted. Come on, slow. Wow, what a presentation. No wonder it cost a little extra. <laughs> My son is going to love this. <laughs> do you want to see Dad's new spaceship? Yeah. Lift the box off. What do you think? Cool? Yeah, cool. <laughs> 
<laughs> Check it out. Such fine lines. Four motors on the bottom. Just going to turn it around here. So about six to eight minutes of run time is what I read on the box. You can see it's quite tiny, so you can imagine it's very light. But, you know, the size of my hand, I've got a pretty big hand itself, so the, the, the machine itself is, you know, not too small. I don't think I'm going to have any visual impairment because of the size. But I really want to get a battery in there and to have a look at, at, at uh, the flying capabilities myself. Okay, on the bottom it comes apart. The instruction manual it says. Nice. Oh, it's got some decent weight to it. It doesn't feel like it's like too empty or anything like that. This has a speaker on the back as well, cool. What is this here, headphone jack? Very interesting. Oh man, I'm gonna have to get out my batteries. <laughs> Training cage. Okay, so this is to actually help so you when you're bumping around. Oh, no way. Cool. Look at this. If this is the wall charger and batteries, what? Is this how it clips into place? Okay, so here's my quick charger. Here's the wall charger. Oh my gosh, it is totally the battery. Super cool, the cockpit is a slide-in battery. I wonder how we release this. <laughs> the extra props, so you get two extra, no, one extra set of blades. So a total of two sets of blades. This is a heavier wrench of some sort plus you get extra guns okay that's cool because if you fall and bust off a gun i guess they have replacements so that's very cool here's the charger and how the battery would fit inside just slides in like that the t65 x-wing high performance battle drone the pilot's handbook cool Okay, so here we go. Features, pilot's gear, vehicle stats, removing the X-wings from the box, and uh, so on. Of course, I'll be going through this, checking out how to put the double A's into the actual uh, transmitter itself. There we are. No <laughs> way. It does make sounds. Awesome, I like... I like the rubber handles on the back. And the ergonomics of it feels pretty good. What? So cool. I have to more learn more about the Bluetooth feature. Come on, hurry! <laughs> so you get this whole experience. Listen to this, it's still going. While you're flying, you get your own theme music. Oh, super cool. Dudes, check this out. There's a screwdriver right on the side. And then look at this. This pops out as a smartphone holder. Holy cow. Where's my phone? Okay, I turned off the music, I turned off the radio. Check it out, here's my iPhone 7 Plus and my kid with uh, a huge life-proof case on it because I always beat the heck out of my phone. Does it fit? It does, I had to stretch it out a little bit. Okay, as I move forward in the instruction book, it's actually telling me to slide this tab on the back backwards and I should be able to remove the battery like this. So this is just the top, I see. So this is like just a display top, so you don't have to have the battery uh, always in there. Uh, you know, sitting on display, you don't want to have anything kind of plugged in for a long period of time. So here's the shell. I have never had 15 minutes take slower to go by. Okay guys, so let's just jump into the props here, okay, for a second. First, you have to identify which prop is which because these motors are identified differently. A and B and B and A. What do I mean by that? Well, there are two bags of props that actually come inside of here and I thought it would have had like one set, like A, B, A, B, but it doesn't. It actually has six props that are labeled A and six props that are labeled B. So if you do crash a few times, at least they've given you a little bit of lenience 
and C. So A, B, B, A, you got to make sure, well, it is pretty B, A. <laughs> you got to make sure that your props are lined up properly. Here is a nifty little tool that comes. Uh, it feels like it's made of alloy. Uh, this is a prop removal tool, the side that's pronged. And of course, this one that has the indent on this side, this is to help you actually push the uh, prop back down. So what I'm gonna do is grab out two of these props and install them quickly. And the final prop on this side. Being very careful not to push too much pressure on anything and everything is still free spinning. Now the neat thing about this protection cage is that I actually thought it would fit in here, but that's not it at all. This is actually a landing cage. Now if you wanted to get this in here, it basically just snaps on. I'm gonna get this around the right side here so you can see. A quick installation and then that way when you're landing if you've never flown before or you're just trying to get used to the vehicle itself you actually have a prop protector so you don't have to worry about this drone getting damaged so I'm really glad to see how well and thought out this was I thought this was actually quite a bit of money uh, for what I was going to get but with all the sound and the systems and the extra parts and everything else eh, I'm starting to be on the bright side I think this is pretty darn neat oh finally charged nice so there is no on and off button on this machine. As soon as you connect the battery, it is turned on. So what I'm gonna do, as always, always good safe practice when you're working with radio control vehicles, make sure to have your uh, radio turned on. Now the neat thing is, because I'm doing a film, yes, this does have music mode, but I've read in the instruction that I can actually turn it off. Now this does have a six axis gyro on it to make sure that it's stable. Uh, also, you wanna make sure because it has that six axis gyro that when you're syncing the machine to the radio uh, and basically calibrating it that it is on a flat surface right because you want to make sure that it's landing and flying uh, uh, basically flat here we go guys power on the radio make sure it's good to go be with you. calibrate it you can even plug in your headphones here Okay, just because I'm doing an overview, I did just have a small crash off camera, but because I was running the extra cage on the outside because I'm learning, I actually had very n little to no damage at all. Looks like I got a few scrape marks on the prop, but nothing I'm really concerned about. And it seems to drift quite a bit. Side to side it drifts, but if you actually work on it, and I'm gonna find out more about that drifting scenario, maybe you can actually stabilize it with that six axis gyro. I'm not quite sure, but you can see 
This is on the, the uh, first speed setting. It can be a little bit out of control. So you kind of have to find center properly, but not too bad, hey? Those afterburners look awesome. <laughs> Okay, let's take off the bottom net or the cage so we can see how it looks without it. Here I was being quite optimistic, but when you think about it, if you take the cage off, then it's just the ends of the props that are actually launching it. So it really has to be from concrete or a flat surface, you know, like hardwood or something like that. But look at that. Doesn't that machine look just so super cool? We're living in the future, everybody. This is what it looks like. And for all the kids that are just coming around now, oh man, you guys have so many cool things in store for you. Let's take off. One of the things you guys don't know about this, and it, this has to do with battle as well, but one button rolls. Check this out, I'm going to the right. Whoa, I made it, don't worry, I didn't crash. And we can even go to the left. So there we go, that's uh, just basically where right and left button are on a uh, Xbox controller. So it's a simple turn of the button. Now for battle drones, you actually need two of these things. Now if you have friends that have them, you're gonna be able to do it. School is gonna be even more cool when you're outside. And uh, here you can see the battery is actually done right now. I'm gonna go in and let's do an overview of what we've learned today. This little fella right here, I could eject the battery, but first let's talk about it. Yes, it is very small. It's very agile, and as you can see, it can do flips and tricks, and we haven't even looked at battle mode yet. Uh, I will be doing that in the upcoming video, but is it worth the money? Totally up to you guys. It depends on budget and what you expect. Are you a Star Wars fanatic that would love to have a piece, uh, you know, like this to fly around in your living room or, or outdoors? Then yes, it's totally worth the money. This feels like it has, well, for me, it's worth the money. Everybody's different. This has enough weight to it that I feel like it's, you know, uh, you know, not too cheap, if I may, as well as this, you know, you guys didn't see, but I actually, for the flight video you saw, even though it was very small, uh, the battery I had to change three different times. I know because of editing it'll be very short um, But really with the three speed setting the battery only lasts about five minutes from my experience Now it really depends on your throttle control and how well everything is running um, But brand new unit. I had quite a bit of fun. I'm glad it comes with two batteries I wish we had the option and I'm sure we may in the future or even now and I haven't seen it to get more batteries for it uh, but if you guys had a pair of these things Amazing. If you didn't have a pair of them, that's just fine as well. I want to get in here. Let's have a look. Let's take this off, put it back on display. Just going to be very gentle in how I use that pronged tool to remove the props. I did crash it, you know, probably around five times because of how it is controlled. And I'm used to flying my DJI Phantom or some sort of uh, quadcopter like that. Now, of course, this is not best practice. I can see the lights are on. I should have removed the battery to begin with. And then, of course, remove the props as well. Always be safe, guys. Now, one thing I want to see, is this going to light up for me when I put it back in here? It is not, which means I'm probably running low on battery on the, the machine and the actual display case itself. But guys, I know you probably haven't even made it this far in the video, but I gotta say, I'm always out there exploring new RC ideas for you, things that are cool. And when I saw this at the big box office, I had to put out my credit card and get two of them for you guys to see. But you've only seen one of them. What do I mean two of them? Well, I couldn't have just the light side. You knew I was gonna bring in the dark side. Check it out. This is Propel's version of the TIE Fighter. Super cool. And I'm gonna unbox this for you, but I'm not gonna do it today. No, no, no. You guys are gonna have to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell beside the subscribe button after you're done. That way you can be notified. Imagine that of all of our new video releases, unboxing super cool toys and models that I find all around the world, really. I've been doing this for such a long time. This one I knew 
I was going to have fun with both in the summertime and in the fall and winter. This could be a great winter battle thing for me. I uh, want to check into more of the uh, smartphone. I didn't see a lot of literature on it yet, but I'm going to check into it more. I'm sure it has to do with battle mode. Going to have to get my wife or my buddy Everett in here to give us a good rundown and flight with the TIE Fighter and, of course, the X-Wing. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in today, guys. What do you think? Leave me a video comment down below. Is a combo like this worth a couple of hundred bucks to you or less? Uh, you know, as some folks, yes, some folks, no. But if you want to get into flying drones, there you go. You've had a chance to see what this one's like. I absolutely am going to love this display, especially when I have both of them side by side. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into RC Adventures today. Get outside, stay inside. Doesn't matter as long as you're having fun with the hobby of radio control. Now, what's with this big floppy arm? Let's get it out of here and look at me. Bye, guys. Thanks for tuning in.